Hello everyone, welcome back to the Illust Illuminator. So just a quick update for all of you out there. Rich Love and I have decided to do a collaboration together. Yay! We are going to do the He Said She Said spread together. We wanted to do this actually on a live, but technically it might not be quite possible. But maybe if we figure out how, or if any of you have any idea how, maybe you can drop a comment about that. Anyhow, we we are going to do it based on soulmates or like masculine and feminine energies. So we will try to record it and hopefully by Friday it will be out there for you guys. So keep that in mind and check it out. The second thing is about the mid months. I have decided to do a, a short version of the he said she said spread. As you guys know, my mid months have always been short. So I want to do a short cut of the he said she said spread because I like the flow of going into the extended. As many of you know, I really go deep in the, in the extended and I like the flow of, you know, knowing where to go deep in. So I am going to do it like that for the mid months as well and some of you, you might be very happy for that. But when it comes to the life path and career readings, I am going to still perform that but at the end of the month based on the four elements. So check that out and yes, let's get into the reading. Hello there Sagittarius, welcome back to the Illust Illuminator. So let's see what we got going on for my dear Sagittarians. Sun, Moon and Rising. So let's see. Some of you are definitely dealing with some setbacks, alright? Might be minor, might be big, but these are just really ups and downs that you're going through. Alright, you're needing to be very, like very very clear in your mind all right like try to control your mind try to be you know manifest things by having a clear intentions that is going to be very very specific look at that king of swords with the eight of swords reversed you have the ability you have the strength to have clarity in your mind and to make decisions that are based on more logical standpoint all right to cut yourself loose from any confusion all right you need to be very clear in your mind in your in your intentions in your manifestations and whatever it is you're really about to make some very 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 important decisions in your life is what i feel sagittarius so let's see, let's see what we got going on. What are the messages for Sagittarius? We got the page of cups that wanted to come out. Let's see, what are the messages for Sagittarius? All right, we got the Knight of Wands in the reverse and we've got the Two of Wands upright. Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Wands in the reverse. All right, some of you have been dealing with a situation or an individual that has been very inconsistent in your life and you're about to make a bold decision to make move forward, all right? Like you're gonna make a decision to cut these people out of your life. Anyone who is not adding up anything in your life and they're being inconsistent, you are about to make a very bold decision, all right? To go into a different direction, to go or to have a, like a different approach, all right? You're really turning your back towards this kind of energy this could also have been your own energy where you have this ups and downs and you are not sure what to do or which direction to go and things are just like always like lingering around and you can't make anything tangible you are now making plans these are plans and with the seven of pentacles this is you contemplating about where to invest your energy time and effort in all right these are going to be things that do, do need a lot of patience but with patience there comes a lot of blessings is what i do feel for those who are dealing with a lot of disputes or conflicts with an individual this is the this is the period where both of you are trying to plan to move things forward patiently with a lot of planning and leaving this inconsistency behind if one was like walking out of the door very quickly after an argument 
that kind of energy is dissipating with this five of wands there is like both of you coming out of this period of not being able to see eye to eye so this is both of you deciding to plant the seeds and to remove these conflicts out of your life is what i do get for a majority of you so let's see there could have been a lot of people in your surroundings that could have been a bit jealous or having some conflicts throwing at you or shades throwing at you and you're not interested in that you're not going to entertain any of that at all all right you're seeing who you have to put your uh, where you are going to put your investments in and where not and you're making very bold decisions in according to to the situation i do get the sense that there has been you know, some of you are really waiting for a very long time to see any results and you're getting a bit like hopeless because you're not seeing any results. But Spirit here is saying that there is still something that's going to come out of it with the Seven of Pentacles. But you're contemplating, you're, you're weighing down your options, whether it is like safe for you to keep on investing in this relationship or in this situation or in this friendship. And let's see what else goes on. What is this? The lovers. Whoa. Okay. We've got the lovers card and the two of cups. That strong soulmate connection that you're having with an individual that is also realizing that. Look at that. The star with the two of cups. Wow. Let's see. One more time. What's their energy, please? What's their energy? Seven of Pentacles and the reverse. Oof. All right. Not a very nice energy. Not a nice energy at all. And definitely they're not all in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles reverse, the Queen of Swords reverse, the Strength reverse, and the Ace of Swords all in the reverse. This individual is. <clears throat> I'm getting weird stuff here. They're putting their intention and their mind somewhere where it should not be, all right? So they're investing in things or in mindsets that are not going to bring them any fulfillment, all right? This person is still hurt from something that they have experienced from the past, something that did not go according to to what they wanted, all right? They have a lot of ego issues and not being straightforward. They hide a lot of things from you. They're not... They're not in control of their own mind. They're not in control of their own judgment. They're not in control of their own, you know, they don't have any clarity on which direction to go with the situation at this point. And they're not being very upfront and honest. And they're kind of like a bit, <sighs> Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. They're, n they're not giving enough to the situation. And that's why you have to base your, um, the seven of pentacles is based on this person's behavior because they're not they're not giving what you put into this relationship you are still waiting for some kind of a result to come out but this person is you know they, they might be dealing with an air sign gemini libra and aquarius something that they thought that it would go in the right direction but it did not all right this could be a financial situation as well it could be love related but this is something that they're holding back from you they're not speaking the truth because they don't have the guts to do that so there is something that they don't have the guts to speak the truth about and that's the reason why they keep coming in and out of your life because there is something here on their behalf that they are afraid to speak out all right and with this queen of pentacles in the reverse they have not been very nurturing towards this relationship it's kind of like you know let it ride whatever the boat crash or the, the whatever crashes crashes kind of like energy is what i'm getting out of this individual and i don't like it I don't like it. So, but let's see. This could have been like the past energy. Let's see what is the future or... Okay, good. 
whatever you've been investing in it is going to come in with a big abundance all right you are getting a promotion you're getting a commitment you're getting abundance in in a major way all right whatever you've planted the seeds in these these seeds are are, are growing whether you know it or not whether you, whether you realize it or not all right and i feel like you are being very truthful towards yourself like this is what you want this is the commitment that you want and that's what you put out in the universe if you know that's what you're supposed to put out to the universe this is big worth knowing your value this is a big opportunity coming your way then we get the king of cups of course and then we have the two of cups and it is in the reverse so someone loves you here someone loves you deeply and they know that this connection is kind of like broken all right and it needs to be fixed this is something that they need to come forward in order to fix it this is an abundance this is a commitment that they want to offer to you um page of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck let's see let's see before i make my final judgment about this here temperance in the reverse got the page of swords in the reverse knight of cups and the four of wands okay okay Okay. So there is something awfully off balance in their in their situation and it does not have to be like they have someone else on the side for some it, it, it is the case for others of you this person does, just does not require the the ability to speak correctly the ability to speak the truth the ability to be transparent all right and the reason for that is because they have been struggling to overcome some kind of a situation that they have invested in but it did not pan out quite the way that they wanted to this could be finance finance related because we have the starting with the seven of pentacles here in the reverse because what I'm seeing here with the Temperance card and the Page of Swords in the reverse, they are out of balance. Something is not correct in their life and they are needing to fix that and they don't want to speak about it. And that's that's causing more disturption between you and this individual. The longer they speak, don't speak about this issue that is going on, the longer it will take for you to to be in on the same page so they are slowly but surely coming to the realization that they need to get their shit together basically and to make a move forward all right this is the knight of wands to the four of wands this person is very passionate they do want a commitment with you they do want to come forward i feel a very masculine energy here but the 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 issue might be that You know you're down with this knight of wands energy right like you're you're down with that kind of energy and that's where you need to put your focus on your intentions on because if this person keeps on doing the same thing over and over again with no stability even though they come in and have like a nice chat it's not going to be enough so they need to come with some consistency the consistency is the four of wands though the four of wands is talking about stability it's talking about like coming together a union it could be even a marriage card but with the knight of wands this is this is still like in in the beginning phases all right like making plans but then what what next you know what i mean like there needs to be more more grounding energy and i feel like this person keeps on coming in or rushing in with a lot of passion but they do lack in speaking that kind of truth towards you that they are withholding from you which is something that you need to start to demand from this individual that's what i'm getting through all right like there needs to be a demand on on why this person just keeps on coming in and out without having any stability in your life so eventually I do see that this person is going to, you know, come into union with you in order to have some more common ground with you, more stability with you. And 
you know, I do feel like this is the other person with this King of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. They are going to offer you something, but you need to be very cautious and very straightforward with this individual. Like, there is, an, there is a lie or there is something that they have not told you about. And I feel like it's, it's, it's your duty to get that truth out of them instead of like just, you know, going with the flow of it and just be like, okay, yeah, nice that you're back. Nice that we're gonna plan these things out. But what is this? What is this that you've been hiding from me? Why have you been going silence on me? Why have you, you know, turned your back on me? Why did you not have your, the strength to fight for this relationship or to fight to keep me in this in this connection with you? All right, these are all the struggles and all the diversities within yourself that you are trying to lay down, you are trying to avoid, but if you keep on avoiding it, there is not like, you cannot avoid those key elements. You, you need to know the truth. If you don't know that truth, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is absolutely everything that you wish for, but you do need to be at peace also within yourself. You need to be in union with yourself and the union comes with knowing exactly what this person has been trying to hide from you. So, that will only bring you peace and and rest and this person as well like they they know they got something on the uh, on their chest that they need to tell you and if they don't tell you this they cannot sleep well so there's this is something that really does concern you as an individual so i feel like it's your duty to find out what they are hiding from you sagittarius so Let's see how this is going to evolve in the he said she said spread continuation on Vimeo. You will find a link down in the description box below this video. I thank you guys so much and I see you guys on the other side. Bye.